reign of God is at hand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Today we celebrate the memorial to a outstanding Franciscan priest of the early days, truly a remarkable preacher, a great Franciscan, and he numbers among all the other great Franciscan preachers of the early eras of our, of our order, St. Bernardine of Siena, St. John Capistran, St. Anthony, St. Francis Solano, just to name a few. There's so many, as you know, Franciscans went all over the world. And St. James of the March was one of the greatest. Truly a man, <clears throat> as we saw in the first reading, raised up by God, a just man who spoke with the Lord. And the Lord raised him up. I often think that if people would only read the lives of the saints, they would certainly be very edified, and that would be enough to convert them. Because these men were truly blessed by God. They were only men, but everything else was the grace of God. They cooperated, of course, but it shows what God's grace can do. And St. Saint Saint James of the March was truly outstanding. Before he became a Franciscan, he studied in the, in the University of Perugia, where he got two doctorates in his, early, in his studies, a doctor in canon law and a doctor in law. He could have done anything. The whole world was open to him. But he decided he'd be a Franciscan. He felt the call. And thereafter, he went throughout Europe. He went to Scandinavia, Norway, Sweden, Russia, Poland, France, Germany, and so on. And during his preaching, he converted many. They say that he converted 200, brought 200,000 people, to converts, to baptism. They say he also converted 50,000 heretics in his day. In Germany, when he preached in Germany, 200 of the most noble men of Germany joined the Franciscan order. 200. Can you imagine that? In Milan, when he was preaching a sermon on St. Mary Magdalene, 38 women of ill repute renounced their sins and were converted. He was a remarkable man. The churches couldn't hold him, and those were the large churches of Europe that would hold two and three, 4,000 people. So we had to go out into the square where tens of scat thousands of people heard him preach. And of course, this is in the days when there was no microphones. So people would come, thousands, to listen to him. It was a, a different era, of course. It's hard for us to even imagine that. Still, it's a little bit possible. We do have some preachers who bring many people to great auditoriums and so on. But in the open air, people coming for miles, traveling and so on. It must have been a stupendous sight. Why? Because he was so wonderful. A man gifted with great blessings. He spoke especially about Jesus Christ. Jesus' is holy name. As St. Paul says, there is no other name given to us under heaven to salvation except Jesus Christ. And we marvel. He was also an outstanding Franciscan, a very holy man. He slept three hours a night, kept seven Lents like St. Francis during his years where he would have bread and water and he ate hardly anything else. Truly a marvel. As we know, they say the saints are to, be, uh, not to, are to be admired, but not imitated. Who could ever do something like this? With God's grace, anything is possible, as the saints show us. So let us learn from the many great saints of our church, and of course, the many great Franciscans, for all of us here, and learn to love God with our whole hearts and souls, and try to do the best we can for the salvation of souls. 
If in the days of St. James of March, conversions were so needed, they're absolutely needed today. Where so many souls, as Our Lady told us at Fatima, so many souls are in danger of losing their soul for all eternity. They're careless. They don't realize how important God is. They can't be bothered. They're so busy about shopping and football games and gardening and all the other nonsense that we do, and they can't even adore God for an hour a week. We're in a pathetic age, my friends, and therefore we need to work hard and imitate the saints like St. James of March and pray for souls and with prayer, Our Lady said, many souls will be converted. So let us pray our rosaries and pray for the conversion of sinners in this day in our world, which is in a desperate state. Worse, of course, than the time of St. James of March. Probably the worst time the world has ever seen. People just don't even believe in God, don't care. It's hard to believe. But the devil's worked his tricks on people and they think that they're God and there's no such thing as sin. So we need to do redouble our efforts and work hard and imitate the great saints who work for the salvation of souls. May the Lord bless you.